Now, when we gather data, we gather data by looking at two different types of variables. Our variables can either be qualitative, which means that they are categorical, or they can be quantitative, which means they are numerical. So if I ask you a question such as, what's your favorite color? What kind of answer would you give me back? Something like red, or blue, or green. It's a name. How do you feel today? I feel good. I feel bad. I feel sick. Naming variables, the categories you can place things in. A quantitative variable is things like, such as your weight. How much do you weigh? Well, when you ask somebody how much they weigh, they give you back a number. Your age. Uh, when you measure something, you're going to get back numbers. So think about that when you're talking about these variables, because that's going to tell us a couple of things. It's going to tell us how we analyze our, our variable and how do we graph our variable, display it. Now, our numerical variables, quantitative variables, can be just broken down into further into two different types of variables, numerical variables. Those are discrete variables, which are countable. The word discrete means that you're isolated in math at a point. In math, it means you're isolated at a point. Or they can be what we call continuous, which means that the variable is measurable. If a variable is measurable, usually we attach a unit to it. And again, this matters in the way we analyze our data. So when we go through variables, we're going to look at different types of variables in the next slide. And on this slide, on this slide, we're going to identify whether the variables are qualitative or quantitative. If it's quantitative, I want you to decide if it's discrete or continuous. So the first variable, the colors of automobiles on a used car lot. Well, ask yourself, if I go to a used car lot and look at the colors of the automobiles, what kind of answers am I going to get back? I'd probably get something back like red, blue, black, white. Those are all naming variables, so we call that a qualitative variable. So this first variable is qualitative. The next one is the area codes of a sample of 500 students. Well, when you use that, what are you going to get back? 713, A32, those type of, those type of variables. You're going to get back numbers. Now, ask yourself this question. Do those numbers count something? If they count, they are discrete. Or do they measure something? If they measure, they're continuous. Well, does an area code count? No, not really. It tells you a location about people, groups, people, and locations. Does an area code measure? No, it doesn't do that either. This right here is a qualitative variable that is disguised as a numerical variable. So be careful. You have variables like that all the time, such as your cell phone number, your social security number. Those are variables that are identifying unique things. They're categorizing people, but they're numbers. The number of seats in a the movie theater, see, well, can you count the number of seats in a the movie theater? Yes. The next question you're going to ask yourself is this. Can you have fractional seats? Because if you can have fractional seats, that means you can measure it, and it means it's continuous. But can we have a fractional seat? No. It's either a seat or it's not a seat. So this is going to be a quantitative variable. And this is what we call a discrete variable, because it's countable. The next variable, a list of house numbers on your street. Well, house numbers, are they, do they measure something on your street? No. Do they count something on your street? No. So since they're not measuring or counting, they're actually categorizing the different houses on the street. This is also a qualitative variable that is disguised as a numerical variable. The last one, the ages of a sample of 350 employees. This right here is going to be ages. When you ask for age, you're going to get a number back. And those actually measure you. They measure. So since they measure, this is a quantitative variable. And now, do they count or do they measure? We said they measure. And because they measure, you can apply a unit to age, such as years, or such as days, such as weeks. Because you can apply a unit to it. This is what we call a continuous variable. So remember, variables can either be qualitative, which means they're categorical, or they can be quantitative, which means they are numerical. If it is numerical, the variable should be able to count or it should be able to measure. If it can't count and if it can't measure, then those variables are going to be qualitative variables that are disguised as numerical variables. So keep that in mind.